everyone, it's me, Jennifer, with Froggy One and Knitting. And today I have for you the 10 questions about crochet hooks. Oh my goodness, I was tagged by Ladybird Loves, and so I thought I'd go ahead and answer those 10 questions and then tag a few friends. So, question number one. What is your favorite brand of crochet hook? Well, I think a lot of people know my favorite brand of crochet hook is a Furls Odyssey hook. I absolutely love the Furls hook. I think they're fantastic. <clears throat> I like the length of the shaft at the top and I love the weight of the hook. I am a knife grip holder and I really love the way the furls are. They're perfect for me with the grip, the size of them because I actually have arthritis in my hands and I don't get cramps in my hands with holding the hooks so they're my favorite. What is my favorite hook size? This is question two and actually my favorite hook size is a J hook or a 6.0 millimeter hook. Uh, let's see the next question, number three. Do you prefer tapered or inline hooks? I actually prefer an inline hook because I originally learned to crochet with Susan Bait hooks, which are inline. So I actually prefer an inline hook However, I do use all hooks. And number four, uh, how do you grip your hook? Pencil grip or knife grip? I am a knife holder. Oh, pardon me. I'm a knife holder. However, I can crochet pencil style. Uh, question number five, does the style of hook dictate how you crochet? Not really. <laughs> Um, I pretty much crochet knife and it doesn't matter to me this, you know, if it's this hook or this hook or this hook or this hook or even this hook or this hook or this one or this one. Um, if it's this style hook, I actually will take more time doing it because my hands cramp and I want to take my time. Um, even this style hook, I take my time with doing it because it's such a large hook. I just take my time. Do you prefer ergonomic hooks or regular hooks? Um, I, I consider the Furls hook an ergonomic hook. So I guess I would prefer an ergonomic hook when my, with my arthritis as I've gotten older. For many, many years in most of my crochet career, I have used the Susan Bates style hooks. That's pretty much all I ever use. Um, number seven, what are your thoughts on light up hooks? Um, I actually like them. I think they're fantastic. I think they're a really neat innovation. I have a bunch of light up hooks. So, you know, let's see. Um, I could pull one out, I think. Yeah, I know I have a few hooks. This isn't all my hooks. It's just ones I have right here. Um, Here's a light up hook. And I actually like the light up hook. That's not all. I was actually gifted a set of light up hooks from a friend. And I like these light up hooks. Um, I think light up hooks are fantastic. I think they're a great innovation. Um, I don't use them on a regular basis, but they're really good with working with dark yarns for me. But they're not for everybody. It's 
really, you know, to each his own. Number eight, have you ever used a hook with interchangeable heads? And my thoughts, and yes, this is interchangeable heads, and my thoughts on it are, um, while I like this hook, it has the millimeters on it, and I don't like it for me because I'm visually impaired. I can't read the millimeters on it, so the way that I judge the millimeters on this hook is with a gauge because I can't read it. So for me, that's difficult, but I actually don't mind this. This is my only um, interchangeable head hook. So, you know, even though it has a magnifier, I still can't read it. But, you know, I have no problem with an interchangeable head on a hook. So far, I don't have a problem with it. I think it, it works out fine. You know, but, I mean, I've been crocheting for so many years, it doesn't really bother me. You know, so number nine. Do you like projects that require small stainless steel hooks or larger hooks? Um, I have little tiny hooks. Tiny, there's a tiny hook there. Um, it doesn't, I prefer to use the larger hooks because a six millimeter is my favorite, but I've used all sizes of hooks, thread hooks, all the way up to my jumbo hook. So it doesn't matter to me, really. But now with the visual impairment, I do prefer the bigger hooks. But I can do either one. So I'd say either one. <laughs> but that's just what I would, you know, at this point. Number 10, if you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would they be? Well, they would be a furl, they would be furls hooks. And I guess I would go with a six millimeter because it's my favorite. Um, and I guess I would go with a G hook because I think a G is very universal. So I guess that's what I would do, a G and a J, just to have that <clears throat> versatility. So I thought I'd show you guys some other hooks. We have the Furls hook, which is really cool. We have a traditional Susan Bates hook. Um, this is a Hobby Lobby hook. Here is another Hobby Lobby hook. There's another Hobby Lobby hook. I gotta set them aside so I don't keep showing you the same ones over and over again. Okay, we have a Clover Amour. And I believe these are also Clover Amours. And then we have an off version of a Clover. We have a plastic hook that came in a crochet kit. Um, yes, I do use it. This is a hook by Brittany, which I actually like. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is um, an eight millimeter hook, which I actually like. You can do small Tunisian projects on it. So I actually like that hook. This is an off brand that is more similar to a boy hook. I like that. Here's another one that was in a crochet kit. I like that. And then of course I have some other bigger hooks. This is a boy hook. This is a 30 millimeter. Um, I cannot remember the millimeters on this. I'd have to put it in a gauge. This one is a 35 millimeter hook. It is my largest hook that I have. I got this from Michaels for ten dollars with a then I used the coupon on it so I got it for like half of that but I actually love this hook it's fantastic you can double up blanket yarns and use this hook with it it's fantastic 
but this is my largest hook. I absolutely love that hook. It's, it's so fun. Absolutely a whole lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm put that in back in my box because I'm getting so many of these out. Um, here's one of my older hooks that I own. This is a Susan Bates and it is an F hook, a 3.75. I've made so many Barbie dresses out of this hook. I had to put um, those little grippies on it like for pencils and they've actually become kind of stiff now. They've been on there for so many years. But there's one of my F hooks. Um, there's a wooden crochet hook. This is a um, one that needs a cable, but there it is a from uh, Knit Picks actually. That's where that's from with that beautiful wood color. Let's see more of the Hobby Lobby. That there's another Brittany hook right there. Um, I have some really pretty hooks to show you in just momentarily. Um, I have the acrylic hooks too as well. They're always a whole lot of fun. And of course, you know, what kind of collection would I have if I didn't have a, you know, a tapestry hook or afghan hook as they're also called right here. So these are tapestry and afghan hooks. As you notice, they're two different sizes, um, but they're very long hooks and they do come in different sizes. They are also of different ages. So you can see the different stopper ends on them. Let me see. But yeah, they are tapestry or afghan hooks, as they are also called. they are just many different styles of hooks that I have. And here is a special treat to show you from my hook collection. I got these from an estate sale. Um, these are some original crochet hooks. Um, they would also be called shepherd hooks as well. But originally, crochet hooks were also called shepherd hooks. But these are like really cool. They are bone or ivory. And that's what they are. And they were originally called shepherd hooks. So I thought you'd get a really, you know, kick out of seeing these and uh, they have very fine heads is, is what they have um, very very fine heads on them some of them are very tiny but you can see them there and I'll flip them over so you can see the other end one or um, one of them here is double ended there but there it is. There's the double-ended one. There we go. You can see the carvings in them. They're absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous hooks. Very, very beautiful hooks. I, absol I absolutely love these. And I keep them... I keep them in a roll with little frogs on it. So nothing can happen to them. Uh, I got these many years ago. And I keep them and I hold on to them because they're so beautiful. Have I crocheted with them? Absolutely. I have crocheted with them. They crochet beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. It's uh, no different than crocheting with anything else. I really like them. Um, I noticed there's really no drag on them, like on a bamboo hook or a wood hook, plastic hook, acrylic hook. There, there's no drag on them at all whatsoever. I do absolutely love, love, love them. I would love to get more of them. <laughs> they, they're some of the, my favorites in my collection. They truly, truly are. They're absolutely gorgeous. I get a big kick out of them. They're just, they're just absolutely beautiful. But I'm dying to know 
what everyone's favorite hooks are. I mean, it just, this is so fascinating to me to find out what everyone's favorite hooks are. It, it just truly, truly fascinates me. I'm trying to put my hooks back in my, back in my box. That way y'all can get a real good look at that's the box I'm keeping them in. It's a mummy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Put my mummy back up on my shelf. And then my other ones I put over here in my face cup. Which I've shown before. And I'll show it again. The, one, the other ones that I'm just sitting here using pretty much on a regular basis. They sit in my face cup. I gotta get it in there. My scissors are kind of blocking the way. They sent in my face cup, which is so cute. Love it, love it, love it. My parents got me this. It is adorable. But they, it sits right here. I have a craft cart next to me, and I put them in my craft carts. And I do have a lot of hooks, but that's also because I have a habit of leaving my hooks in my project bags. Oh my. I do have a habit of that, which is not a good habit to get into, but I do have a bad habit of it. So, I tag, I should get into, I should do that now. I tag Penny from Kitty Mom's Adventures, and I tag Charlotte from Crochet at My House, and I tag Shell, my co-host. So, Hopefully, we will be answering questions with her on my next live. So, stay tuned for that. And I also tag anyone else who would like to be tagged. You know, this is a lot of fun. I really am enjoying this 10 questions thing. So, in the meantime, please stay safe. Be kind to one another. And as always, happy yarning. Love y'all. Bye now.